Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So I have done a inventory of my long-term storage preps, my short-term storage preps, my bug out location storage preps, and my working pantry storage preps. And I wanted to do a inventory of my fridge and my freezer and while i was doing an inventory of my freezer i came across several packages of i will say specialty items that we don't use very often so because i haven't cooked this in a while i decided i was going to make a special treat it is sunday morning and i am making a special treat from my husband and myself's childhood it's one of the breakfasts that we grew up on so let's get started so it is sunday morning and i am making a traditional breakfast from my husband and i's childhood and it is cuffish and potatoes i soaked the cuffish last night and just kept it in the fridge overnight i actually rinsed it two or three times before i actually soaked it and then i rinsed it this morning again I cut up my potatoes, they're in some water just so they don't go brown. I have three large onions for the sauce. I have stewed tomatoes, this is a home can of stewed tomatoes, that's from 2019, it's one of the, actually I have one more from that year and then it's gone. And those were really good that year. And then I have a stick of butter. And then of course spices and stuff are in my cabinet. So let's get to making cuffish and potato. Also. I have my hard boiled eggs already going. So let's get to this delicious breakfast. Oh, it's smelling good. I love eggs, but already smelling good. And over here, I have what we call our garnishes, our semi ripe, pretty ripe bananas, and our really ripe avocados. Those are ready to go. So those are our garnishes for our breakfast. So the reason I actually soaked my cutfish overnight because I'm using salty cod. This is what I got from BJ's. Um, and if it wasn't salty, which I don't really like to use, I would have just started cooking and added a bit of salt because I think salt just adds that extra flavor. But because it's salted, you need to get some of that salt out. So I have my pot here warming up. It's uh, the biggest pot I have. And I'm going to get my cuffish cooking first. We're going to bring it to a boil, then add our potatoes, and then cook it until our potatoes are soft. Right, so into my pot goes my cuffish. I did drain the previous water off, and this is the whole package, the whole pound of cuffish. And I'm going to put the top on and bring it to a boil, and once it boils, I'm going to add my potatoes. So now's the time to make the sauce. I was just um, taking the ring off of this, and I noticed, I don't know if you can see right there, this is a used lid. I guess back in 2019, I didn't know any better, um, but I don't reuse them now for, uh, this was been water bath canned. And as you can see, it is still sealed. I am, once I open it, I'm still gonna check it just to make sure um, that it's good. And I that's why I like to open it pretty much in the same place all the time. So let's get this open see so it sounded good let's see I'm trying to do this one-handed looks good that looks good and I don't see anything it smells good so I'm going to use it I will taste a little bit before I put it into my frying pan but yeah it looks good so while I have my cutfish here going top on it so it heats a little bit faster I'm going to get my sauce going so half a stick of butter yep a whole half a stick of butter and I'm going to get my onions sauteing in that before I move on to adding the rest of my ingredients for the sauce so just get that warmed up a little bit and then toss in all my onions which I did just slice up nothing really you know fancy about that just slice up your onions 
Should have waited a little longer to let that heat up, but that's okay. And I'm going to get these okay, sautés. So my fish is boiling, and you don't want to walk away from this because it will overflow its pot with the top on it if you walk away from it. Seriously, I've done it. You don't want to do it. It's a mess. And my onions are translucent, so they're ready for the next step. So here in my pot with the fish boiling, I'm going to reserve um, about a cup of water. Not, not quite a cup. You don't want the fish. Just the water. Um... I'm going to say that's about half a cup. Half a cup of the water. And then I'm going to add in my potatoes so in here. in my fish, I'm going to add my potatoes right in. Don't do that. Yep, this is what happens when I do things one-handed. Try to be more careful than I was just now. Not splashing water all over your stove. And get your potatoes in. I like to cover it up just to bring it back to a boil because you can see it's not at a boil right now because those potatoes were cold. And just watch it because, of course, it can boil over on you and you can make even a bigger mess than I did. Okay, so now my onions are pretty much where I want them to be. They have a little hint of a color, but not much. And what I'm going to do is add in my stewed tomatoes right in. And you can use canned stewed tomatoes, you can use diced tomatoes, whatever. I like to use this because it has the um, peppers and everything already in it. So I'm just going to mix this in. And I might need a second jar. Because I'm making a bigger batch than I normally would, but we'll see in two seconds. Okay, so I am going to add another can of tomatoes. I'm going to use this diced tomatoes with the basil, garlic, and oregano because I'm being lazy and I don't feel like walking back downstairs. <laughs> and that was already in my kitchen pantry. So I'm just going to mix this in. Yeah, that's better. And then I'm going to add my spices. You know, the spices I like to add. Same ones I normally do. My soul-free one. Add some of that in and some black pepper just a little bit of black pepper and then my secret ingredient that i always use when i'm using tomato products is a little bit of white sugar and that's just about probably like the size the amount of like a sugar packet and i'll add that in there and cook this down a little bit and once i do that i'm going to add the liquid that I reserved off my fish into the sauce and that helps to bring out the flavor and meld the dish together. It cooked over and I was standing right next to it. <laughs> Even when you're standing right next to it, it can happen. So my sauce is ready for the liquid and then I'm just going to simmer this until everything else is cooked. So also to the sauce, I add a little bit of thyme and parsley. I had some thyme left over from actually two years ago garden. And my parsley was the last from last year's garden. And I guess I should have grown more last year. I thought I had a lot, but I guess I didn't. So in to the sauce that goes while it's simmering so down. So I am checking my potatoes. Let's see if I can fish out one here and see if they're ready i just want to see if the fork goes through them if i can get one of course when it's on film it's like non-existent okay here's one and it's forking up okay i think i got one and it's forking up again anyway fork goes through easily you probably can't see that very good because it's forked up but my potatoes are ready my sauce has thickened up nicely and it's been simmering actually higher than a simmer <laughs> while everything else was cooking and now that everything else is just about ready what I'm gonna do is add in that other half stick of butter yep I'm putting the whole stick of butter in there I know I probably said that in the beginning but the whole stick of butter is going in and that will melt down into the sauce and then the sauce will be ready so everything is cooked. My sauce has thickened up very nicely. And my
cuttlefish and potatoes are cooked and my eggs are done and everything's ready to be plated up and that took about a half an hour not including like time to chop everything and peel everything but cooking wise so here is our breakfast all plated up with the fixings and as we were sitting down to breakfast someone reminded me that i forgot the turn call meal so we usually do turn call meal with this this completely slipped my mind but it's delicious either way thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload videos stay safe keep prepping and god bless